good morning students today i am going to teach you 9th standard english unit 2 a poison tree by william blake this is the continuation of a poison tree video this is th third third video of a poison tree so the poison tree a poison tree by william blake has four different stages the first stage describes a friend getting angry at his friend because the speaker no and uh, liked this person he explained his conflict he explained his feelings and the conflict was resolved so the poison tree by william blake provides a clear lesson provides a clear lesson on how to handle anger both with a friend and a uh, enemy both with a friend and enemy in this poem blake warns about the ill effects of holding malice inside oneself okay students so william blake already i gave the introduction of william blake william blake was one of the greatest english poet in literature he was a english poet painter and uh, printmaker okay students shall we move to the poem i was angry with my friend i told my wrath my wrath did end i was angry with my foe i told it not my wrath did grow and i watered it in fears night and morning with my tears and they snatched it with smiles and with soft deceitful wiles and in blue both day and night till it bore an apple bright and my foe beheld it shine and he knew that it was mine and into my garden stole when the might had veiled the pool when the right had veiled the pool in the morning glad i see my foe outstretched beneath the trees so already we had seen first two stanza today we are going to see the third the third stanza we are going to see about the third stanza now i just remember what we heard already learned okay students so first and second stanza i was angry with my friend i told my wrath my wrath did end i was angry with my foe i told it not my wrath did grow and i watered and i watered it in fears night and morning with tears with my tears and i snatched it with my smiles and with soft deceitful wiles the first stage the first stage describes a friend getting angry at his friend because the speaker no and liked this person uh, he explained his feelings and the conflict was resolved the anger ended the anger ended on the other hand the speaker clashed with a person whom he did not like he got the irritation he got the irritation inside and uh, did not express or tell the other person what was wrong the resentment began to grow uh, inside the speaker 
and i watered it my feet in fears so the poet the poet watered uh, the tree so the second stage the author explained uh, about the second stage begins the extent metaphor with the comparison of the anger and the poison tree irritating the idea of the narrator cultivating his rage he waters the budding uh, tree with fear and uh, tears every day and even night and even night still the enemy doesn't know of this growing fear fear can make a person fear can make a person and of character and loss his emotional balance deceptively the speaker employs the uh, employs uh, he smiles uh, as though it was the application of his son to the tasic tree okay children now i i am going to explain uh, third stanza and it grew both day and night till it bore an apple bright and my foe beheld it shine and he knew that it was mine and it grew both day and night the third stage describes uh, the tree metaphor the sta- uh, the third is, uh, stanza the third stage de- describes the tree metaphor anger poisons anger poisons the human uh, spirit anger poisons the human spirit further more it endangers the ability to use uh, logical reasoning to use uh, logical reasoning finally this tree finally this tree bears uh, the fruit okay finally this tree bears the fruit of the narrator's uh, fruit in the form of a beautiful uh, appealing apple in the uh, appealing apple as in the uh, forbidden replicable replicable uh, forbidden fruit so finally this tree uh, bears the fruit bears the fruit of the narrator's fruit narrator's fruit in the form of beautiful uh, appealing apple as in the replicable forbidden uh, fruit the enemy the enemy desires the enemy and my foe beheld it shine foe what is mean by foe 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 uh, it means uh, enemy foe so the enemy the de- enemy desires the apple desires the apple and realizes and realizes that it belong to the speaker the enemy realizes uh, sorry the enemy desires the apple and realizes that it belong to the speaker so uh, the third stage the third stage describes so third stage and the, and the, and it grew grew both day and night uh, till it bore an apple bright till it bore an apple bright finally this tree bears the uh, fruit bears the fruit of the narrator's uh, fur in the form of beautiful okay till it bore an apple bright and my foe fo- what is mean by foe yeah enemy and my foe and his enemy his enemy uh, the author the narrator's enemy because it shine and he knew that it was mine so the enemy desires the apple uh, the enemy desires the apple uh, and realizes uh, that it uh, uh, belong to the speaker so the third stage uh, describes the tree metaphor uh, uh, anger anger poisons the human spirit anger poisons the human spirit furthermore it uh, endangers furthermore it endangers the ability to use logical reasoning to use logical reasoning finally this tree is this tree the poison tree bears the uh, fruit of the narrator's uh, furry in the form of a beautiful appealing apple as in the replicable forbidden fruit the enemy desires the enemy desires the apple and uh, uh, realizes that it uh, belong to the uh, speaker belong to the speaker okay students i hope you enjoy and learned about uh, third stanza uh, 
I will explain fourth stanza in the next class. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you. Thank you students.